solve this question on the GMAT, uh, one of the things we want to focus on is the uh, point zero 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 six four. Trying to solve that question as a decimal could be um, a little challenging. So one of the things we want to do is to go ahead and change that into a fraction form. One of the things you have to understand about a decimal is a decimal and a fraction are pretty much um, uh, you know cousins, pretty much. So they, they you can switch them. Uh, back and forth. So what we want to do here is to count the number of decimal places, the number of decimal places, which is from this decimal point. We want to count it out, find out how many times it would take for it to go out. So what we want to do there is say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to take 6 moves to move that decimal point out. As a result, we can have something that looks like this one with six zeros since it took six zeros to count that decimal point out and we still have the cube root over that and then we still have the square root over that so all we have to do now is just focus on the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction so uh, what this pretty much means is it's telling us to do a cube root of the 64 and also a cube root of the one with six zeros which is a million so if we focus on the top there we ask ourselves what do you need to multiply three times by itself to get 64 so the same thing three times that number will be four four times four is 16 and then 16 times four is 64 if we do the same thing to the bottom we ask ourselves what do i need to multiply three times to get one with six zeros. Well, another way to kind of think about that is to ask yourself, since we have a cube root here, we essentially need to look at these numbers and we need to group them, have three groups of these numbers. So three groups of the numbers. So the way, an easy way to look at that is to ask yourself, you can do one, two, three. So we pretty much took, took the 1 million, which is 1 and 6 zeros, and we broke it into three groups. And then all you have to select now, just select one of those groups, which is 100. So that's your, um, this is essentially your, um, your uh, cube root. And now remember, we still have a square root over that. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. What is the square root of 4? 2. The square root of 100 is 10. Um, Here comes my uh, rule called the Beyonce rule. Uh, pretty much the way Beyonce rule works is just a way to remember whether to move left or right when you're dividing by multiple of 10. So since there's only one zero at the bottom here, we go to the left. So like to the left, to the left, like in the Beyonce song. So it's pretty much how that works. So as a result, the answer here is 0.2. So the answer is there. Thank you.